How we doing? I know it's been quite a while. This is definitely the longest break I've taken, but I'm glad to be back making videos for you guys. I decided I was just gonna pick a recent movie that I saw, and it happened to be Booksmart. So this is a coming-of-age comedy film directed by Olivia Wilde. A lot of people know her as an actress, but this is actually the first film she's directed, and she did a fantastic job. The film stars two young up-and-coming actresses in Beanie Feldstein as Molly and Caitlin Deaver as Amy. Some of you may have recognized Beanie from her role in Lady Bird. I personally didn't recognize Caitlin, but I thought she did a great job. The film centers around Molly and Amy, their friendship, and everything they're going through right now in high school. It's the night before graduation when they realize that all this time they were working really hard to get into great schools, when they realize this whole time all these kids who they thought were slacking off and partying all the time actually got into really good schools as well. So feeling like they missed out and worked a little bit too hard, they decide to have one night where they go out partying and have the best time of their lives. Now if this sounds familiar at all to you, it's because it might remind you of a film that came out in 2007, Superbad. And while that film deals with two boys who want to lose their virginity before they graduate, here we have a little bit of a different approach, but a similar type of movie. But the real connection here, which almost makes it feel like these films take place in the same universe, is simply the fact that Beanie is in fact Jonah Hill's sister. Yeah, I definitely didn't know that before seeing this film, found out later, and it all makes so much sense now. I mean, when you really look at them in their comedic style, it's very similar, they look a lot alike, they are both hilarious and did an awesome job in these films. But beyond that, this film definitely stands out on its own. The film also stars a couple people you may recognize, in Jessica Williams, who plays one of the teachers named Miss Fine, yes, that's F-I-N-E, as well as Jason Sudeikis, who plays the high school principal. But beyond that, there's maybe only one or two big name actors that make an appearance at some point. Now, one thing I really enjoyed about this film was the soundtrack, which is put together by a guy named Dan the Automator. I recognize this guy because I used to listen to his music and some of the stuff he produced back when I was probably in my teenage years. Music plays a vital role in this film, not just in the way that it tries to present the mood, but pretty much throughout the entire film there's elements of music that help transition to different parts. It almost feels like the music is a character in the film too. It also brings out a bit of the humor in the way the music can throw things at you. And let's get to the comedy. This film is laugh out loud hilarious, perhaps my favorite comedy I've seen so far this year. Not only that, but it's consistently funny throughout the whole film. Especially with how quick this film moves by, it is really fast paced. Living up to its title, this film is smartly written and has a lot of fun setups throughout the entire movie. There's one part of the film that I won't spoil, but I will say it it has to deal with some kind of hallucination and stop motion is used during this sequence. That really just set the bar as far as some crazy fun sequences that you can do in a movie. The only thing I will say is that I wish it was a little bit longer and perhaps it went by too quickly. There are many great side characters that we see throughout the film but it just doesn't feel like we get to see them enough to really really enjoy them. So yeah really that's my main issue is that I just wanted more. The actors have great chemistry on screen and at one point I really started to care for them. The film really puts you in the moment and maybe it's because I graduated high school 10 years ago only about a week ago but it really brings you into the moment of their lives and it reminds you of what it was like back then, what things mattered, why things have changed, all that good stuff. At least for me, someone who's in their mid to late 20s, I definitely found all these moments where it makes you think about the choices you made in your life and whether you would have gone back or done anything differently. Now, this film may have wanted to come out right around graduation since it deals with that, but it definitely came out during a difficult time with all these summer blockbusters. This is a nice low budget comedy that is dropping low in the box office right now and may have driven under your radar. But I highly recommend going to check this one out if you're given the opportunity. It's definitely not one to sleep on and one of my top films of the year so far. Overall, this film is fun, fast, and enjoyable and one I would really like to go and see again. Booksmart doesn't turn back the pages, rewriting and reinventing the teen comedy with a perfect blend of energy, heart, and great characters. And that's why this film is a diligent pick. So guys, what did you think of Booksmart? Is there another film that you really enjoyed recently that you want to talk about and recommend to me? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. I know I've been gone for quite a while. I do apologize. I started a new job in March and have just been very busy and trying to get back on track with a lot of things. I'm really happy to see all the new subscribers and people that are still supporting my channel. I'm looking forward to coming back and continuing to make more videos for you guys. Here's to a good start and we'll see how things go. As always, my name is Dylan and if you love entertainment, subscribe to my channel while the video ends and send me a thumbs up before you go. Thanks for watching and stay diligent.